we have the pleasure now of talking, uh, of I have the pleasure of introducing someone who I can tell you is the present Congresswoman Judy Chu from, serves in the House Judiciary Committee, member of the Crime, Terrorism, and Homeland Security. Uh, in 2011, Dr. Chu was elected as the chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. Congresswoman has been supporting the rights of Camp Ashraf residents, and she was elected as a member of Congress from California. Please welcome Congresswoman Chu. Well, I am here to say that I will always be here for the residents of Camp Ashraf. I will never forget when I saw a tape of them they express their wishes to me to help in their struggle. And I was so moved to hear the very words from them that talked about their struggle and the imminent change that was taking place. I, I was moved to tears. Thank goodness, because of your efforts, the camp was not massacred. That was my greatest fear. That, that would have been unbelievable. But there is still so much more to do. I am so mortified that the residents who've been taken to Camp Liberty cannot even take their possessions with them. That's not right. And I was mortified to hear that the residents cannot even have special trucks to help the disabled. That is not right. And I was mortified to hear that they don't even have the most basic of facilities in Camp Liberty. It is not even in basic condition to accept all these camp residents. And I say, that we should not continue transferring them until Camp Liberty is in a shape to accept them. <laughs> and of course, the U.S. must and can do more the very, very basic thing it must do is remove the terrorist designation for MEK. I have to say that you are amongst the most dedicated that I've ever seen. You have come and done briefings in DC. You've contacted so many officials, and we have heard from you. That is why you have so many officials here at your briefings. This is why I came today. I think that you are among, amongst the most effective and amazing advocates I've ever seen. And those residents of Camp Ashraf need you. They need you to be as effective as you can be, because it is a matter of life and death. But I do want to tell you, you have touched my heart. And for sure, I will be there with you side by side every step of the way to make sure that we finally get freedom for the residents of Camp Ashraf. Thank you all very much. <laughs> 